today I have another recipe for you guys. I'm going to be making chicken. Um, it's like cordon on blue, but when you do cordon on blue, the chicken is, um, it's like rolled and dipped breaded. in flour, breaded in flour, and I don't like it that way. I put my, my little twist on it. I actually slice the chicken breast, stuff it with ham, Swiss, and provolone cheese, and then I wrap it with bacon. I put it to fry a little on the stove, and then I stick it in the oven for it to finish cooking. So that's like my twist to it so I'm gonna be doing that and this is vlogmas day number 15, 16 oh my god guys I cannot believe that we've been doing daily vlogs for 16 days straight I think we just were off on one day that we just put pictures but we posted which is the important part so stay along watch this video give this video two thumbs up let me know if you guys tried the recipe with my little twist comment down below and let's get to it First thing you guys have to do is you grab a knife. Make sure your knife is um, sharp enough because you have to slice the chicken breast. So let me show you guys how I do that. I grab with my left and with my right, since I'm my right righty, I grab the, the knife. I put my left hand on top of the breast and then I just slide it in. That's how I thought was I was thought how to do it, so that's how we do it. And that is a sliced chicken breast. After you, um, for the sake of the video, I'm gonna do this and then I'm gonna, you know, do it off camera. Um, you grab your chicken breast once you've sliced it. And right now it's too thick to roll. So what you're gonna do is get a Ziploc bag, the gallon size, and cut it in half. Put your chicken down, cover it with the other half of the bag, leaving it space. So basically I just grab a Ziploc bag and slid it down the middle. You grab a mallet, a stick, whatever you have. This is what I have right now. So this is what I'm gonna use. This is the thing that holds my paper, my bounty. But it's heavy and it's wood, so we're gonna use this. So you're gonna place it in the middle and then you're gonna pound it. And then you turn sideways and you pound it out some more. where you're gonna bounce it and this is what it looks like it got bigger and it's skinnier so now what we're gonna do is on this because like I said it's wrapped in bacon is bacon is salty so you don't really want to add a lot of seasoning so what I do because I do wrap it in garlic in um, bacon which is the salt I do add a little bit of um, garlic powder and to season the chicken so stay tuned, and I'll be back when I'm done with all of them. Okay guys, as you saw in the previous part of the video, I was smashing the chicken breast. This is my last one I have. Um, this is another trick. If you're very frustrated, if you want to beat your husband, beat your boyfriend and one year kids, do this recipe, grab a pole, start. Beating your frustrations away. Okay, I am blessed stressed and I'm more relaxed once I pound the crap out of my chicken breast. But this is what they should look like. They are thin, they get a little bigger, but I still have to pound more here because I feel it's still thick. So let me. Okay guys, so they are fully pounded and I'm gonna wash my hands watch the tools that I use and I'll get back to you okay guys right now I have my provolone my Swiss and I'm cutting the ham in half because I don't like it to be like sticking out 
So I just cut it in half and then I'll just take two pieces or depending on whatever you use. And I have mine already set on the plate because I'm going to be touching the chicken and I don't want to cross contaminate the ham and the cheese because there's some left over. You can make a sandwich with it. So I don't want to be, you know, touching the raw chicken and touching the ham. So here we go into my drawer. And like I said, the bacon is salty. You can use any kind of bacon you want. I use Carolina Pride because it was the one on sale. And we're all about saving money here in the M Squad. I mean the M Fam. So right now I'm going to just lightly, um, lightly put some garlic powder on it. And that's all the seasoning that's going to get. I'm not going to put anything else on it, but um, this is the lawyer's garlic salt parsley because of the bacon is salty then that's it okay so let me get my stuff that i'm not needing out of the way and with the tongs carefully you just want to distribute the seasoning because your breasts are cut thin you don't want to rip them so okay so let me just finish seasoning and I'll get back to you when I'm gonna start rolling. Are you tickling the M squad? Leave them alone. <laughs> okay guys, I have everything out of the package. Like I said, Ali, put this in the refrigerator please. Like I said, I have my bacon out, the ham, the cheese. You could put as many as cheese or what kind of cheese you want. I do provolone and Swiss because the real corn and all does have Swiss cheese. There's two kinds of Swiss cheese. There's baby Swiss and the normal Swiss. I don't like the taste of baby Swiss. I think it tastes a little different to me. I don't like it. So this is what I have. So I'm going to roll my first one and then you can see how you do it. So I seasoned it like this. I placed it flat on my board. I place it flat on my board. I get a piece of ham. I get a piece of cheese. Another piece of cheese. Another piece of ham. And I roll. I roll. And you roll as tight as it could be. And there's gonna be holes in it. It's a breast that got, you know, it's okay. Then you take one scoop of bacon, and the reason I like the Carolina Pride is because it's very, very thin, and it's, it stretches out a little bit. You can tell it's very stretchy, and it's easier to wrap the chicken, and it cooks faster since it's so thin. So basically, you're just going to put it in the frying pan for the bacon to get a little crispy, and you're going to finish it in the oven. So the same way, you grab it, and once it's rolled, and you roll your bacon. And you roll your bacon. What I do, if there's like a piece like this one that the bacon didn't cover at all, I get a piece, I cut it in half, and I start from where I left the other piece. So I would start it from here. And since it's sticky, it will be sticky and it will close. And this is what it should look like. A perfect piece of chicken. And in my family, I do have to do two or three without bacon because my husband, yes, God, I'm going to let you know. My husband doesn't like bacon. There's something wrong with him because he eats sausage and he eats ham and he eats pupusas, which is pork in it, but he won't eat bacon. Yeah. And I'm, I'm trying to get my mom to let me get a pig, a trained pig. She and wants I, a little pot belly pig? No. Like but, a teacup pig. No. And I told her after that, none of us are allowed to eat pork. No, I like my bacon leave me alone. So um, I'm going to continue wrapping my chicken and I'll get back to you when I'm done. <laughs> Okay guys, 
So now we have wrapped the chicken in bacon. We did all the stuffing. We have our pot. We're gonna put it on medium high. And like I said, the chicken is cut so thin that we're basically just gonna make the bacon cook a little, fry up a little bit. And then we're gonna put it in the oven so the, the pan doesn't need any oil because you guys know bacon has it. So we're gonna get our first rolls. And as you see, I'm grabbing the rolls with the bacon side down. It's probably gonna unravel itself, but try to make it with the seam down and put it in the pot. And you guys should hear that sizzle. And look at my new tongs. Yes, we got new tongs at the store. I, I got two pairs. And for the rest of the dinner, we have rice cooking here. And we're thinking about what vegetables we're gonna do next. And I always leave the chicken that doesn't have bacon for last. Okay guys, and that's what it should look like so far. Don't worry about that guys. Oh no guys, it's just nothing. That's a aroma. Um, a person that I take to work, I, used, I go in her apartment every day and her apartment smells so good. And I asked her what it was that smelled. It, I thought it was like a plug-in or something. She didn't told me to go to Beth Bad, Beth and Bed, 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 and Beyond. Bed, Bed, and Beyond. Bed, Bath, and Beyond. Whoa, can we say tongue twister? And she it told is. me which pack to buy. I know you did a pan that you're not going to use ever again. You put hot water. You put some of the little seeds that come in a pouch. And you let it boil. And that gives on it low. some smell on low. You could do it on high just to get really hot. And then you do it like a medium boil. And that will smell. Your whole house will smell like that. It smells good. So um, I'm going to turn on the fan. You guys won't be, hearing, be able to hear me. But when this is ready, we're I will put it on low. But this is what it should be looking like. And we'll be you, back when it's done. As you see, the chicken right there is starting to cook. We'll be back when it's done. Guys, look how pretty my flower is. My mommy and daddy gave me my flower. No, actually, I didn't give them to you. Your dad did. Oh. I thought both of them. Nope. Yeah. Aww. I take it back. Her dad gave them. Your dad, your dad gave them to you. I didn't even go into Home Depot when he got them. But aren't they so pretty? I love it. I think what is that for? Is it like for Jenny? I get one every year. I love them. I think they're so pretty. This and what color roses are my favorite? Salmon. Yeah, they have to be salmon. We're looking, we look so good with our Christmas decorations. Okay, guys, come here. Let me show you what it should start to look like. Like that. Oh, that looks good already. This smells amazing. Yep. And you don't want to be moving them a lot because you know they'll break. They'll break apart, and the bacon has to cook steam side down. And if you take it off before they're crispy, it's gonna unravel and it's not gonna be good. So I do have the two that don't have bacon for Alberto. Show me. We got some jasmine rice that that is done. I like my rice a little hard. I don't like it too watery and soft. And this is, this is good. Lava las manos. Lava las manos for your food. Okay guys, this is what it's looking like. I usually flip it on four sides. So right now I flipped it from one side to the other and then I flipped it to the other side and now it's standing. So we're gonna let it cook a little longer this way, then we'll flip it the last turn, and then it will go in the oven. Excuse me. Move. Move. Okay, guys, this is what the final product should look like. We still have these. Hey, 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 hey. Huh? Mm, look 
how good that looks. And it's not even done. And now we're just gonna put the last two with no baking. Did you just say get him? This is how um about Okay guys, and this is how the one with no bacon should look like. It's cooked all the way through, not all the way through, but it's cooked somewhat through. And that should be enough because it will be in the oven. You see how it's still raw inside? It's okay because it's gonna go in the oven for at least 20 minutes. And the chicken is cut, um, pounded thin. So 20 minutes in the oven, it will be fine. And I do have the oven preheated to 350. So we'll put the chicken. And this is what I do. I put a cookie sheet at the bottom of this glass. So this cookie sheet is really hot because it's in the oven. So I just put that and that gives more heat at the bottom. So it even cooks hotter, faster I mean, because it's getting heat from two places. So we'll get back to that in 20 minutes. See you guys in 20 minutes. Okay, I'm gonna take a little bit of credit on this, guys, because I don't like chicken that's dried. Well, it's not gonna be dried out, but I like sauce, some kind of sauce. So I decided to do some kind of sauce, and I kind of invented it. I think I invented it, I don't know. But we'll go into it right now. Okay, so we're gonna start off with a little bit of butter. We're gonna melt that butter nice, and then we're gonna add a little bit of garlic, about this much, depending how much garlic you like. And we're gonna put it in there, and we're gonna let it cook for a little bit. Guys, you should smell this, it smells amazing. After that, we get um, heavy whipping cream, and we're gonna add it to the pan. Okay guys, we add it to the pan. Then we're gonna get, then we're gonna add a little bit of sour cream, just like this much. And guys, I don't like white sauce or, you know, white sauce in general. So I'm gonna be adding a little bit of this to make it a little orange. And as you see, it tastes, it looks, I mean, a little orange now. And all we're gonna do is mix it so the sour cream can dissolve. You add a little bit of chicken bouillon and you mix it so the clumps of sour cream could go away. Right. And then you add a little bit of Parmesan cheese. And then you let it boil and that should be it. And that is it, guys. This is the cream sauce that we eat with our chicken. That easy. Let it come to a boil and you turn it off and that's it. And the chicken is done and this is what it should look like. Tell me that don't look good. Show them the sauce. The sauce and the rice. Yeah. Rice. Don't mind this, it's the bacon. Let's have to clean that. 
but this is what's for dinner in my house i hope you like comment down below give this video two thumbs up turn on that notification bell and if you try this recipe let us know bye